I make both hand-painted acrylic paintings, like the one you see over there, which I'm in the process of painting right now, and the ones you see above me behind there. And I paint them obviously with traditional media paint, paint brushes, which you can see over there. I also make digital paintings. Here's an example of one of my digital paintings printed out. This is a sweet kitty named Sugarfoot. I use a program called Procreate on my iPad and the Apple Pencil. And so you can see some of the artworks that I've created here. We'll go into one of them. What's awesome is you can create all of these different steps in layers. So you can see here on my piece, when I take away things, you can see how it kind of goes back to the original drawing. And then I've added lots of layers of different effects. I love creating things in Procreate. We're going to just create a new file here that's blank. Now, I really like this program because you can use digital paint and paint brushes. So as you can see, I have a lot of different options in here. Some of these are brushes that I've purchased that are add-ons to the program, but also there's a lot of things that it just comes with. So I'm going to show you some of the brushes that it comes with. Now this one is a wet acrylic brush and you can adjust the size over here and the opacity we're going to put it in the middle size. You can see, and if I push harder on it, it creates lighter, harder, different strokes. And it's awesome because if you don't like what you did, you just back up there with the backup button and you can take the effects off. I've made acrylic paintings for the longest and I think I've been painting for I don't know, maybe around 15 years now or so, professionally full-time uh, for about 10 years. But the digital paintings has been a recent uh, evolution of my style. I started digital painting uh, during the pandemic because I had lots of time on my hands and I thought I would learn a new skill. I, I love making digital paintings. It's really fun. I, I can use the media in different ways than I can when I'm painting with actual paint. But it's awesome because digital paintings, since they have all of of the different brushes in there that try to mimic the look of paint and different kinds of paint like spray paint, oil paint, either charcoal, pastels, watercolors, basically anything that you can make by hand in the real world, you can also make on the iPad in Procreate. When comparing the two media, there are things that I like better about each of them. For instance, the digital paintings, I like the fact that I can just hit the back button and erase stuff. It makes it really fast to get rid of a mistake. Whereas with acrylic painting, if you make mistakes and you let it dry on there, or if you're painting wet on wet, sometimes those mistakes stay there and then you have to paint over it or figure out how to fix it. And it could take a long time. So painting digitally is super fast compared to painting by hand. The other thing is, is that when you're painting digitally, you're not wasting materials and supplies. And for me, especially during the pandemic, I mean, I had to kind of tighten my budget because I wasn't doing art fairs. I didn't have as much income coming in. And so because of that, like it was great to be able to just create a whole bunch of work digitally. And then I can print them out when I want to be able to see them bigger. But the downside to it is that you are limited to what those paint brushes that they have in there in the program look like. Whereas in acrylic paint, you can do anything that you can figure out how to do, right? And the sky's the limit. And I've learned a lot of techniques over the years that they just don't have brushes in the Procreate program that can mimic at this point. Now you can create your own brushes. I have tried that. I've experimented with that, but I'm also unable to create brushes that create the same exact textures and effects as the ones that I can create with acrylic paint. But looking into the future, at some point this technology is going to progress to where it will rival acrylic painting exactly, I'm sure. At this point though, it's not quite there. Well, if you have any questions about digital art or painting and the difference between the two, please post below. I would love to answer your questions. All right, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.